time though. Hello guys, less than six to seven weeks in the January transfer window. Uh, we are still expecting a crazy transfer involving one of African brightest player Victor Osime. Is he going to stay put in Galatasaray? Is Chelsea going to make a move of 75 million in his release clause to sign him? Or is Arsenal locking at the corner or PSG as they are misfiring in the attack? But before going into details, welcome to the channel final with the channel that gives you the best and the best concerning sports related stories, fans reaction, pre and post match analysis, and of course in the match analysis. Don't forget we are also sharing the platforms on Facebook, Final Issue 931, on Twitter now as X Final Issue 931. On TikTok, Final Whistle 931. On Instagram, Final Whistle. And our YouTube page, Final Whistle 931. Don't forget to like, share, and watch our videos and drop your comment in the comment section. And hope you are subscribed to the channel, Final Whistle, as Final Whistle is your short plug in bringing you sports related stories. Uh, if it's sports, believe me, we are going to talk about it. And yes, we have a big breaking news regarding Victor Osime. Uh, is he only Victor Osime? His teammate, because we are expecting him. We are anticipating a generally crazy transfer saga. Uh, with Victor Sime. We saw what happened in the summer with the likes of Al Ali in the corner, with the likes of Chelsea Lockin, the likes of Arsenal, PSG, and eventually nobody saw Galatasaray in the corner and the owner is in Turkey flying his trade in Galatasaray. There are many altercations in his contract as uh, there are, are release clauses that he might actually leave if the right offer comes in. The right offer being 75 million being paid to Napoli in full, uh, not in instrumental basis, but in full. And you have to agree a concrete salary wage structure with Victor Osimhen, who is believed to be one of the top earners in world football as it stands. And yes, his teammates, uh, Mario Ikadi is injured and will be out for the rest of the season. You know, there have been speculations concerning Victor Osime. Is he going to stay? Is Galatasaray going to make the move a permanent one? And V09 himself say he just wants to enjoy football. And we can see he's all smiles enjoying uh, the kind of football he's playing in Galatasaray. Though a lot of Nigerians are skeptical, they believe that Turkey league Turkish league is not one of the league they want one of their top players playing as they believe that he needs to come to the Premier League in a place that he can get Champions League football make his mark because what Premier League is the most watched league in Nigeria as a stance but we can't dispute the fact that uh, La Liga is no uh, joke thing too because of the likes of Barcelona and Real Madrid imagine with the like the Galacticos and the, the young stars in Barcelona so uh, is it going to have we seen a move to Spain anytime so I don't think so with Barcelona being covered with the likes of Lewandowski and Madrid being covered with the likes of Vinicius and Kilia Mbappe. So that is uh, that is not a place we can see him. That is La Liga is not a place we can see V09 going now. So definitely it's going to be Premier League where you can get talked about. And uh, we know Victor Sime is, is, is a man for the media. He likes the media attention and every other thing. So basing this uh, uh, news and production to Mario Cardi, who is going to be out of the rest of the season, it brings Galatasaray back now to two main strikers, who is Victor Sime and uh, they are they are they are former Basiktas uh, attacker, former Chelsea and Basiktas attacker, Mitsu Bashwai. Is Mitsu Bashwai going to be reliable? No, it is going to be Victor Sime. You know, Victor Sime uh, came into Galatasaray side, and because of his uh, emergence to Galatasaray side, Okamburu, the manager, changed his formation to uh, double striking role. Whereas before uh, he, uh, Osime came, Mario Cardi was the undisputed choice for the number nine position. Now, are they switching back? Because Mario Kart is out injured, having torn his ACL as reported by Fabrizio yesterday's match, you understand. So now the first thing brings us to the question now: V09 is V09 now V05 staying put in Galatasaray? Because personally, as a Chelsea fan, I was thinking that okay, if Galatasaray can win the league without Victor Simeon, imagine having Victor Simeon to that uh, that star power. You understand? So it will give them advantage to to retain their league. Now let's get the twist. Like, let's get the, the twist of this event now. Victor Simeon won Napoli. The Scudetto after how many years of trying after the likes of Maradona legs we saw the images of Cavani, Amsic, uh, Lafezi they didn't do it until V09 came now he has one league in his name which is the Scudetto if he stays in Galatasaray he's definitely winning the league he might even go down as the most valuable player in uh, of the season in, in Turkish football you understand so is he going to stay in Galatasaray like I said Gen uh, January Chelsea are still there Arsenal are still there wanting a striker uh, PSG is there. They are misfiring at the moment. They want new players. It depends on money. And what is the money? It is stated in his contract as £75 million. Pounds. Now that Mario Cardi is out, Galatasaray has been added to the mix. Now five clubs are in for Victor Simeon. Galatasaray being number one, Chelsea being number two, Arsenal being number three, PSG being number four. Let us not dispute and remove the fact that Saudi Arabia has the money to match £75 million. Pounds. Because Ivan Tony is misfiring. But a lot of Nigerians don't want V09 just yet 
in the Saudi league because they believe the Saudi na age grade of 35 they go they go retire. So let's scratch out uh Saudi Arabian league from the from the from the list now. Brings us to four clubs now. Galatasaray are edging in that position now. So it's certain now, and it's looking more likely that VO9 will end the season in Galatasaray because there's no way in hell after they have lost uh what's it called Mario Cardi out of the season ACL. Let us not forget he just came back from six month injury before they bought Victor Sime. Victor Sime said no we play at two if you fit if you give it at eight matches in the season. So what is going on at the moment in Galatasaray? Is it the fitness? Is it the conditions? You understand? Because VO Nice has not been fit ever since he stepped his feet in Turkish football. But regardless, Mario Cardi, we want to wish you a quick recovery. You understand? So we saw them play Tottenham Hotspur yesterday, where, uh, where Victor Sime scored two goals, two lovely goals from say typical striker as a Chelsea fan of oh hit they blow me. That kind of striker, that, that kind of goal when he score. Uh, no disrespect to Nicola Jassi, you know, he scores that goal. So, V09 is in the mix. It's going to be a crazy January transfer because Galatasaray has a stand, the chief of Galatasaray has a stand. He has stated that money was never a problem, money will not be a problem. And with Maricardi out of the season, and you know, say these players, when you're out for so many times for eight to nine months, it is hard for you to actually come back and give the way I give it. Maricardi is going to 33 years with you. This uh, Victor Sima is 25, going to 26, has still five, six years to give the Turkey side. And the good thing is, if they win something. Will it tempt Victor Sime to stay beyond the loan deal he has with Galatasaray? This is the news I said I should bring to you guys that Mario Icardi, the supposed striker's uh, partnership, the supposed striking partnership with Victor Sime is out with torn ACL injury and will be out for the rest of the season. And this brings us back to another crazy transfer window. Remember, V09 signed an additional year with Napoli to take his release clause, to reduce the release clause from 130 to 130 million pounds to 75 million pounds. 75 million pounds is a money, is a bargain Galatasaray can afford. 75 million pounds is a bargain, is a money Chelsea can afford. Arsenal can afford it. I haven't splashed that kind of money on Kai Havertz. PSG can afford it after misfiring now. So we are expecting a crazy January transfer. Is V09 going to stay with Galatasaray? Because we are expecting him to make a move in January, but not to unsettle him because of the achievement he will have with Galatasaray on the team. Because I believe personally in their cup competitions, they will go far. In Europa League, they will go far. In their league, they are on course to retain the league with the likes of Sarah, Dries Martins, Akin Ziyech. If there's anything worrisome for Galatasaray, is that defense. Because Sanchez really did that now calamity we have seen sanchez before in Tottenham. see the goals where they concede yesterday against Tottenham as well but that's regardless v09 we're expecting a crazy transfer involving you like i said you'll be media man and you know how to deal with this kind of pressure what better pressure what worse pressure can you receive again after this transfer window we go because today we hear chess you hear ali we hear now we hear PS, and eventually you went to a place where nobody see so mario card is injured and this brings us back to the question with v09 now stay in galatasaray beyond january because General as it stands, Galatasaray would definitely want to release him because uh, Ikadi, the main striker, is out. So V09, there was no way he was sitting on the bench uh, for Ikadi, by the way. So they had to partner them now. Is he going to go back to his formations or Kamburu going to go back to his preferred formation now that Mario Ikadi is out? And that is why I say I should bring to you guys that V09 don't get clear slate to as the undisputed striker now in Galatasaray because Mario Ikadi is out for the rest of the season. Probably we partner with Dries Martins. We don't know if he's going to go out. As a lone striker, whichever formation, like I said, whichever tactics, Osime is the striker that can suit in any formations, in any formation, in any coach plan. And that is all from me on this uh, production. Don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms on Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, uh, TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. Don't just watch our videos, want you to like, share, drop your comment in the comment section on our production. And we have series of production coming your way Chelsea Corner, Ninja Corner, Tactical Crossfire with AY Baba. And that is all from me. I remain your humble host, Official Ola. See you guys.